Today on Go Angling, I'm on Mille Lacs Lake with Brad Hawthorne. We're chasing smallmouth bass. In-depth outdoors, Go Angling. Brought to you by Gander Outdoors. First cast. Jeez, I, I don't know if that's a good sign or yet. not. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I think that's the non-target species, though. Is that a Walter? I think it's a walleye. Nice. Man, not quite digging like a bass. Not quite digging, but he came out of pretty deep water. No, that's a walleye. Again, that's that's typical Malax. Right. Going out for uh, going out for bass, going out for bass, and having these pesky walleyes bug you all day. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. Yeah. There we go. Boy, I just kind of <laughs> came up on that one. Is that the right flavor? No, it's a walleye. It is a walleye. Well, they're doing the same thing as the bass are, I'm sure, rooting around on the rocks. Rooting around, Crayfish. trying to find an easy meal. Mm-hmm. You got to catch five or six walleye before the bass are like, okay. <laughs> That's a bass. That's, it got to be a bass, That's gotta it? has got to be a bass. It's got to be a bass. <laughs> <laughs> that one might be. So we've had him joking. We you know, come out, and I'm like, we're probably gonna have to go through like five, six walleye before they decide to give up, <laughs> give up the ghost, and let the bass feed. That's gonna be your. That's actually a pretty good one. There we go. Oh, that is a nice one. Mm -hmm. So like we we're saying, you gotta go through like five or six walleye to get the bass. And that right there, a lot of people, you know, they kind of give up on Mille Lacs, you know, this time of year, dog days of summer, this and that. And you're not gonna come out here and catch 50 bass a day. But if you actually fish for them and get down there, man, this is what you're gonna catch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great starter fish. Yeah, get him back. There he goes. Nice work. There's one. Nice. Moving quick. Moving quick. <laughs> Not the right flavor. Maybe? Yeah, it's the right flavor. Right I bet. flavor? Yeah. Let me know if uh, you need. Maybe not. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a nice bass. Is it? Yeah. Want me to bag it for you? Sure. All right. I just switched over to that tube. That you was know. kind of a funky color tube you had on there, too. <laughs> yeah. It's just kind of an amber amber colored tube. But any time that these fish are kind of rooting around on the rocks, eating crayfish, something that hugs the bottom like a tube. Ooh, Jeez, he's, Pat, you, I think he's, he's got a, a really nice one on him. He's a strong one. That's what's so fun about bass though. I mean, yeah. they fight so hard compared to anything else, you know, pound for pound. Yeah, I seen, I seen Pat switch that tube and I went, uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's oh, a nice bass. That's a nice bass. That there is we a go. chunky bass. <laughs> That's what we're after right there. That's a beautiful Mille Lacs smallmouth. Wow, Pat. And that's all that fish was on. Was just a two and three quarter inch fatty tube there. But beautiful fish. That makes the trip right there. That's a big bass. <laughs> that's a huge bass. <laughs> all right, we'll get him back. See you later. Back he goes. That was like boat side. Yeah. <laughs> I was just dragging the tube back here. <laughs> Super. I thought you were snagged there for a second. That's a bass. Yeah, it's a bass. That's oh Pat. Oh, I haven't gone on a good smallmouth bite all year. This is fun. This one might be bigger than your last one, man. Yeah, he's a nice one. He just cracked that tube. Super nice bass. 
just don't know when to give up, do they? They, they don't. That's why, you know, that's why I love them. They, they, they got so much heart and soul and that, that one's got that stuff we were talking about earlier right on his head. That is a huge bass. There we go. <laughs> can barely hang on to him there. Wow. Nice bass. Good job, Pat. Thank you, sir. Just cracked that tube. He's a little roughed up there on his back. I don't know for sure what that is, but you know, there's been some speculation on if that's some kind of virus or if that's just them actually picking away in the rocks for those crawfish and different bait that are down there in the rocks, but we'll get them back. All right. So this is one of the most basic presentations for catching bass when the bite's tough or when the bite's great, it works good too, but smallmouth have a really hard time turning down a tube and something that's crayfish colored like that down on the bottom, just crawling it along the rocks. I'm not working this bait very fast. I'm just slowly dragging, popping it off rocks and those smallmouths are keying in on those crayfish that are down there and that's what it's imitating. But that's it right there, just a quarter ounce uh, tube head jig there and just a two and three quarter inch tube. All right, get back in there. See if we can upgrade to like a five pounder, huh? There we go. Oh. This is a huh? good one. Is it? Yeah. Another good one? Yep. Gosh, these things are fun. Well, they're just so, they don't give up. They're big. I mean, it's, there's not, there's not many complaints about small mounds, especially when you're getting the average size that we're getting today. Oh, there yeah. he is. I saw a little bit of a puke and rally there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There we go. That tube is just gone. There we go. Beautiful fish. Thanks again, Brad. We'll get this one back. <laughs> get back in there. I was like, do I got to put on? I might have to put on a tube. You might have to. I might have to put on a tube. I've been fighting it, you know? There she and goes. I think I might have got the right one now. <laughs> Watch be a walleye. <laughs> better not be a walleye. <laughs> so I'm not sure how they're going to edit this, but I literally, like, <laughs> I've been cleaning up walleyes, and Pat's been coming behind me just, I mean, he's got a lot of big bass today. And I got, like, one three-pounder, and I, I think this is finally one. I hope it yeah, is. Yeah, that's a bass. Oh, no. Is it a walleye? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. Well, one of those days. It's one of those days, man. One of those days. You win some, you lose some. Here he comes again. I'll let him jump. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's, that's over for. Yeah, oh yeah. There we go. Can't beat it, Mille Lacs Lake. Pretty darn good smallmouth fishing out here. Hard to beat really anywhere in the state. Brad's got us on the right program, fishing this kind of eight to 14, 15 foot rock, just kind of the broken up stuff like he said. Not really, you know, a lot of times this year, it might transition into kind of that bigger boulder bite at some point, but right now it's kind of just the broken up rock. Definitely uh, pretty aggressive on him right now. There he is. Why not? I just literally just vacuumed another walleye up in front of Pat. He's giving me those really angry, like <laughs> zip, zip. Oh, Pat, that is, that's big. <laughs> that is big. That's the biggest one of the day right there. That's, that's 21 plus inches right there, all of that. Look at that. Just a giant smallmouth. Oof, Unbelievable. Uh, nice fish. Nice fish. All day, it's been a pretty consistent bite. You know, it's, I've said it a bunch of times, but just imitating those crayfish is really all we're doing right now to catch these fish. And that is a big one right there. That's five plus, Pat. Yeah, that's a five plus. Yeah. All right, we'll get him back. I don't think that's a giant. But I tell you what, if this is another walleye, Pat, I'm taking this, you this watermelon it. off. You know it's gonna be. 
Yeah, it is. Yep. So, okay, that one that one got let off by himself. I am switching color. <laughs> Boy, did he, I was just ticking the rock. So basically when you're fishing these tubes or how I like to fish them is I like to fish them really slow uh, just so that they're always right on the bottom. You know, not glued to the bottom, but constantly you get in contact with those rocks, ticking them, tick, 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 as you're retrieving that bait back. And a lot of times you'll tick off a rock and they'll wail on it just like this one did. Another nice bass. Beauty. Come here, get up from underneath the boat. <laughs> they love hiding under the boat. Oh, he's a tagger. You got yourself a tagged one. Right on. Nice. There we go. Another beautiful Malak smallmouth. Still eating that tube. Kind of a confidence bait for me. I, I love throwing tubes. They work really well. And you can see right there, two tags. That's a cool fish. All right, buddy. Well, that's gonna do it for us today out on the Lax. Had a great time fishing with Brad. If you're looking to get in on a great smallmouth bite out here, make sure you look him up, give him a call. I'm sure you got a bunch of dates left, don't you? I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty loose towards the end of September. The end of September, which is a great time to catch big smallmouths out here on the Lax. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe In-Depth Outdoors and Gander Outdoors. We'll see you next time. For additional content related to this video, check out these videos. And don't forget to subscribe to In-Depth Outdoors and Gander Outdoors so you'll never miss a new video.